So as you can see here, there's something called as an FDR uh, value also. So the FDR here uh, stands uh, for uh, the false discovery rate. Uh, ideally, the false discovery rate, if it is less than 0 0.05, it is, al is always considered as um, a good. Yeah. Uh, so if let's say that the FDR is about 5%, that means among all the features uh, uh, which are significant, 5% of these are uh, null. Uh, the FDR is also used to uh, determine the p-value or the probability uh, value for your enrichment analysis. Uh, the probability value basically ranges from around uh, 0 to 1. It is, uh, if we consider the p-value as well as the FDR, then we generate something what we call as the q-value. How actually the p-value is calculated looking at the enrichment analysis is by uh, using the ANOVA test. The ANOVA test returns a p-value that uh, takes into account uh, the mean difference and the variance and also the sample size and based on that the uh, p-value is calculated. Uh, the p-value is also basically a measure of how uh, likely uh, you get this uh, computational uh, uh, data. In other words, it also helps us to calculate how many false positives or uh, false negatives which are there which is also nothing but um, your false discovery rate. Therefore, we can actually say that if you have a small uh, FDR score or a small p-value, which means uh, there is a low uh, chance of um, a false positives or uh, even false negatives for that matter. But the FDR value is also used if you want to carry out an uh, analysis of RNA-seq data.